So I've been talking to a couple of my clients this week about the negative effect of what they describe as office politics and how that phenomena hasn't really gone away with our remote working, with the pandemic. It's just found different ways of having that insidious, negative, pervasive effect on our lives. And if you're working in a large global organisation, I think you'll know what I mean when I say office politics. It's something that you can't really escape in a big organisation. But how could we make it different? How could we move from something described as politics to something that is much more positive? Something almost like a movement that we could put our energy behind to make the world of work a better place. And that has led me to think about the difference between politics or politicians and statesmen. So what does it take to be statesmanlike and how does that differ from being a politician? So I've been thinking that polit a politician kind of is driven by his own agenda, his or her, their own agenda. Their outlook is usually short term. Their um, levers are about manipulation and power and hierarchy. On the other hand, a statesman is much more motivated by the longer term outcome, by the impact or the legacy that they might be le leaving and by the effect that they can have galvanising their community to move in a much more positive direction. They kind of see themselves as stewards of the movement and not in charge, so to speak, like a politician might see himself, but much more supporting the forward positive movement of the community that they are caring about. So if we were to look at how we individually as leaders could have the impact that we want to have at work, would it be more as a politician or would it be more as a statesman? And how could we change the small things that we do each day, the interactions that we have with everybody that we come into contact with at work differently so that we move from being more political to be, towards being more statesmanlike? I'd love to know what you think about this discussion. I'd love to have the conversation start with you in the comments below. So do let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Until next time.